Good morning, friends. Sarah Deacon, the adulting coach here. I just dropped off my youngest at school and I'm getting ready to go on my walk outside again today. It's actually a little sunny today, so yay. Um, and I just wanted to talk quickly about the crossing guard that stands at the corner at the elementary school near our house and how much joy he brings and spreads just by being himself. Because I think a lot of us struggle with bringing our full self to the activities, the choices we make, the things that we maybe have to do throughout our day. And I wanted to just tell the, the quick little story about how seeing him on the corner brightens my day. Because this guy, he stands on the corner at the elementary school to keep the kids safe, doing his job and his yellow vest, whatever. But every car that goes by that intersection or turns that corner to drop their kid off at school or comes, you know, is coming out from dropping kids off, like like me, like my car, um, he's got a smile, a little nod, and a wave. Remember, raise your hand up. Good to see you. And I tell you, it was kind of awkward when he first started um, being the crossing guard because it was just maybe a couple of years ago. It was kind of awkward. I'm like, what? why is the dude waving at me? Like, you don't know me. Like, what's going on? <laughs> but as time passed and it got to be more of a routine or more ingrained in my day-to-day -day life, I look forward to it without even realizing it. Because when he's not at that corner, I miss him. So every morning when I drop off my kid, I get my little smile and my wave and I wave back and I smile back. I feel that joy that's just emanating from this man. Now, how much you want to bet nobody told him to smile and wave at all the passing cars? Because I can guarantee you the crossing guard before him did not do that. No, that's just him showing up as his full self Sending the joy out from his own heart to touch the lives of other people. And that's what's beautiful about the crossing guard is that it is these little moments of just being you and reaching across the void, across the gap to connect in some small way with another person that makes people's days brighter that spreads those joy ripples out into the world. And so today, I want to invite you to do the same. You don't have to smile and wave at every car if that's not who you are. I want you to bring yourself to work or to your life or to your family, your whole self, and find that way that feels right for you to open up a little bit and let some of the joy out. And, and spread it to other people. Because what happens when you do that is it multiplies. And then they go out and they open up their hearts and they spread their joy into the world. And that's why I mentioned ripples. That's, that's a thing. So that's your invitation today. And I hope that you are having a joyful day. And if you're having a harder time today than other days, well, let me give you a smile and a wave. And I want to tell you, I'm glad you're here and I'm glad to see you and you matter. And there is a way, even in your darkness, for you to bring light and help and joy to others in the world because you matter and your voice matters and the fact that you're here matters and the joy that's still in there somewhere, that matters too. And it belongs in the world with all of us. So have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you tomorrow.